I won't lie, I've been doing this <clears throat> 20 something years. Uh, I, started, I started working out when I started wrestling and I've been studying nutrition. I spent some time as a personal trainer, learning to work out, all that stuff. And it is still to this day uh, when I when I get on when I get on a scale and I've been having some more consistency and uh, you know in my diet and in my workout and and I'm heavier you know two weeks in than, than I am when I started like it's still this mental thing and whether it's whether it's muscle or whether it's just the way my body works or whatever uh, you know daily fluctuations are definitely a thing it is still discouraging Being discouraged doesn't mean you stop working. I think the best way to deal with discouragement is to just keep keep on the plan, right? Just keep working forward. It's easy to get discouraged and want to change things. It's easy to get discouraged and uh, you know try to come up with a, a new idea or give up. Either way, but the way you deal with discouragement is you stick to the plan. So you, you gotta remember that discouragement, when you're discouraged, that's an uh, altered state of mind. And you came up with the plan when you were clear headed. You always wanna be leery when you start to change a plan. When you've laid out a plan, with an end goal in mind, you always there, there's always going to be the impulse um, as uh, you want to be malleable and and make adjustments as you go if you need to, but there's a very thin line between making a needed adjustment and derailing the whole plan with a knee jerk reaction. It, it happens. You see the kind of thing in, in in wrestling a lot when you have a plan for a match. You definitely need to be malleable and, and work with the crowd with some give and take. And a lot of times my criticism of current wrestling is that as, as they plan out their spots, as they plan out their match, if the crowd is not buying into what you're giving them, you just barrel ahead because that's the plan. and that. That's, that's bad. However, you know, when you have a long-term storyline or you have a long-term plan or you're trying to get over as a character, sometimes making those knee-jerk reactions in the, in the middle, uh, that can be disaster. You derail your whole plan. Sometimes you have to trust the process, let the crowd waffle a little bit before you make that decision. I guess what we're talking about is long-term versus short-term. You always have to be mindful whether you're working towards a long-term goal or working towards a short-term goal. And there's, there's obviously there's gonna be short-term goals along the way to that long-term goal, but I, I'm a believer that you always prioritize the long-term goals and the short-term goals should be more about uh, almost more like like check-ins you know uh, step dates like just you know spots where we check in and make sure we're still on track to the long-term goal not necessarily that the short-term goal is what we're working towards
thinking of goals, long-term, short-term, I, I don't even know. Uh, we, we are officially under a month, just, just under, we're, we're a month out from, from PWA's first show back, uh, April 17th, and I wish, I wish I could say that I was more clear-headed about what I'm gonna be doing, what, what my place is, how I feel about getting back in the ring, but I just, I, I don't know. I do know that to get back in that group, to figure it out, I'm, I'm not gonna figure it out out there. I'm gonna figure it out doing the work, doing training, like I'm gonna figure it out in the work of the thing.